What up, Factionistas? We got a huge tutorial, and I hope you love it, because... I had to shave my face. Aside from that, I did a Morton Joe from Mad Max, which is also a collab with, you guessed it, Jordan Hans, who did Slit, who's one of the war boys. I'll have her link down below so you guys can check out her channel and how she did this look. Starting off this tutorial right, my camera didn't record any of that, but I took a white liner pencil and I outlined the basic shape of a Morton Joe's mask to really get an idea of how it's going to fit on my face personally, as well as little things that I can do to translate his mask to work better as a face paint. So I'm using this NYX white eyeliner and I'm drawing in the teeth as well as the top jaw portion, as well as how I wanted the mask to end around my natural jawline. So use that white pencil to really map out everything that you need to do. It does not have to be perfect by any means. It just has to simply be a guideline that when we start to fill this in with face paint and cream paint that you're still not confused, right? You know, feel me? So I'm taking this gray face paint by Mayron and I'm going to use that with a small concealer brush and I'm going to line the top half of a Morton Joe's mask. So that's just going to be the part that rests over the top of my nose and my upper cheekbones just to really get a good vibe of where I want his mask to be and the color I want it. It was really in this gray tone because it is metal, but I'm not going to actually do metal. I'm just going to kind of do some gray, you know what I'm saying? Aside from that top portion, I did do the bottom jaw. I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to go with this makeup yet, so I only applied it to the areas in which I was comfortable and confident that it was going to be gray masked out in those areas. But I left out the chin and other various areas as well because I didn't know how I wanted to do the cheekbones leading from the top cheekbone to the bottom jawline, if that makes sense. Once you look something like this, I'm taking a white and a yellow and a little bit of brown to mix in this yellow off-white teeth color, and I'm going to use that to fill in the teeth. I'm going to blow right through this because we have the map down white pencil already that's going to outline and keep us guided throughout this makeup, but essentially when you do this portion, it's going to cover the entire lip and it's going to just look like a yellow mustache. So be sure to leave little small areas in between so you know which tooth is which. I'm going to powder this because this is a cream paint and it needs to be powdered or it'll move around. I'm taking this brown eyeshadow and this Kelly Baker flat brush, which like I showed you guys on Snapchat, and it's an eyebrow brush, so it's perfect at getting straight lines as well as blending. So I'm going to push this brush up against the side of my face and using the shape of the brush to my advantage to get a perfect triangle every time. And that's what I'm going to do to the top of every single tooth and then carry it downward to create that triangular like almost like a like a skyscraper like a like a building shaped tooth so really use the brush to your advantage and get something that's the perfect width that you want it to be so there's less human error and the tool does all the work boom from there, I'm going to take that same brush and that same eyeshadow, and I'm going to start blending outward. So essentially, I want the two front teeth to be the highest point in the makeup. So I'm shading everything else outward from both sides of the teeth, and that's going to give you the illusion that these teeth wrap around the face, and that the front that each tooth kind of overlaps the tooth next to it just a little bit. And that's really going to give you the, a nice illusion of a three-dimensional makeup, and it's going to add more interest to the overall design, if that makes sense. I hope it does, because if it doesn't, I don't know how you're going to do this makeup, you know what I mean? <laughs> so anyway, I'm doing that to the top and the bottom teeth, and as you can see now, as it's coming together, it's starting to get a little bit of depth. If you shade all the way around the entire tooth, it's going to look a little bit too halo -y and a little too round. You want it to add, like, dire and what you want a directional lighting, so imagine that there's a light, a fake lamp right in front of your makeup design and the light is shooting right at the mouth so where would the shadows hit first it would hit the the highlights would hit the two front teeth first and then shadow out from there do you feel me so i added a little bit of white cream paint on top of my already yellowed teeth color to get just a little bit of a highlight tone and everywhere that we didn't shade so we shaded on the where i'm working now we shaded on the left side of the tooth as you see it and now i'm highlighting on the right side of the tooth does that make sense so that's going to give you the overall most three-dimensional tooth shape before we actually go and outline it with eyeliner and that's really going to pull the whole thing together Uh, 
Now to add even more depth, I want to separate the top row of teeth from the bottom row of teeth. So I'm taking a black eyeshadow and that same flat brush and I'm going to shade below the top teeth. And that's going to give you a little bit of an illusion that the, it has an overbite and that the top teeth are resting above the bottom teeth. Now that we have that down, I'm adding a little bit more highlight to blend into that shadow so it doesn't look like black eyeshadow blended on top of the skin and it's casting more of a natural looking shadow and it blends those edges even that more so. I'm going in with this felt tip liquid eyeliner by Motives and I'm now going to outline every single tooth. I'm creating a thicker line on the outside of each tooth as you can see here and then once those are done I'm doing the thinnest line possible. To then connect it and create an all around black halo around that tooth. So use whatever you have that can give you the thinnest line possible. It doesn't have to be a felt tip liquid liner, but if you have like a cream liquid liner with a liner brush, or if you have like a black eyeshadow with a really thin angled brush, use whatever you have that's going to give you the thinnest black line possible. That's really what's going to sell this the most realistic, and you just really want to focus on thin, thin lines. Hello. So I'm just going to do that around the entire tooth. And now you can see it's really coming together. I started off with the teeth first because that's where the most shading needs to be. And that's where I wanted to be like the most awake. You know what I'm saying? But uh, now I'm using the back of a makeup brush. And I'm going to use that to add white face paint to the top of each of the top row of teeth to give you those bolts. And now we're going to get this side on that side. So I'm taking the same brush. I'm really loving this brush by Kelly Baker. And I'm going to create a straight line around the bottom of that top cheekbone and then I'm going to fade it down and this is an eyebrow brush so it's literally built to give you straight crisp lines but also be able to blend and give you a nice own bright eyebrow so that's why it's great in special effects because I can do the most in the whole world because I could you know I can get a straight line underneath this cheekbone and then also be able to blend it down so I'm blending it all the way down to the bottom jawbone and I'm going to do that up I, the camera stopped recording because it hates me but you know you feel me so I'm taking black face paint now and I'm going to outline the entire part of this whole skull mask portion and you're going to see me carry on and fill in the entire side of my jawbone black all the way to my ear but don't actually do that when you guys recreate this makeup yourself because it's a little bit too solid so at the end of the tutorial you'll see that I'm going to take some a wet towel and I'm going to kind of ombre and fade that black towards my ear so don't just paint it right away in you want to fade it out you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second right here so I, I black out the entire part of that black uh, jawbone right to my ear and fade it up don't do that now I'm just taking the gray face paint again and I'm gonna fill in underneath the teeth and create um, a connection between that jawline in the chin. I didn't I hadn't done that um, earlier because I wasn't really sure where I was going to go with this. Boom. So now we're going to take that gray face paint. We're going to um, color in that circle part of his mask where the where those like oxygen tubes would normally come out. Obviously, I can't do that. But I also wanted to make a really cool like bandana skull that would you know look really cool it's kind of this is more inspired by Morton Joe it's on the direct direct replica I wanted to make it work as a mask face paint so we're just gonna color those in and then I'm gonna take the white cream from the makeup forever flash palette again and I'm gonna highlight that outer portion so it really protrudes out and then we're gonna shade on the outside of that highlight and as well as the inside of that highlight if that makes sense so now I'm taking that same brush again, the Miracle Brush today, and I'm going to highlight, or I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to shade outside of the circle, and then you're going to see me pick up some more product and then start to shade inside. So now we're shading inside, outwards, towards the nose. Boom, boom, ka -ching. From there, I'm going to add some more various highlights so this makeup looks a little bit more three-dimensional. And I'm going to now highlight the jawbone, and then I'll do that as well to the cheekbone and other various areas as well. And I don't think my camera recorded this either, but I created that um, horizontal line on each side of my nose to kind of protrude my nose out more, if that makes sense. But now I'm um, creating a little bit of tick marks of the, to connect the teeth to the um, jawbone. And then now I'm adding a little bit of shadow with just a paintbrush and I'm just scratching it downward as you can see here. And I'm doing that all along the cheekbone and underneath the teeth to add shadow and texture. Bam. And now I'm just going to finish off with the nose. So I'm just going to create like a little bit of a skull shaped nose with a cream paint. And I'm blending that in to the nose and then adding a little bit more black cream paint 
blending that in towards the nose and then now I'm going in with a black eyeshadow which you see right here and I'm kind of setting that cream as well as pulling it down again and then adding more gray to kind of blend it upwards so the shadow is just right at that line if that makes sense and then to finish off this tutorial completely I'm going to contour the uh, my brow bone underneath and then a little bit underneath my eye with black eyeshadow and then I'm taking a pink cream paint and I'm putting that underneath my eye just to look dark and irritated so it doesn't look like makeup it looks more like I'm just an evil man with some irritated eyes and then I'm popping in some blue contacts by Desio eyes which I'll link those down below because they look fantastic for either special effects or beauty whatever you're thinking and then that will be the finished tutorial my homies oh no just kidding what so now I'm, I'm doing now what I said with the towel I'm adding a little bit of um, setting spray just to you get something wet and then pull that black product out so it kind of fades and looks more grungy and then with the black eyeshadow I'm gonna kind of blend any harsh lines that I see but I want to keep it very dirty because I mean it's a Morton Joe he's not the cleanest man in the world but then that's a finished tutorial my friends I really hope that you guys liked it and learned something cool and new today definitely check out Joran Hans and her um, war boys tutorial she's so talented and she's this the best you should totally subscribe to her duh but i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial also factionistas don't forget to subscribe to my new second vlogging channel get to know me hang out with me i'll take you around the world and we can just have some fun on the internet yeah